candy apples, Penny. Ooh, uh, I'll get it. Uh, Elvis, remember, don't cook the candy for too long or it'll get too hard to use. It needs to be runny. Okay, Sam, runny it is. Ooh, tasty candy apples. I can't wait to make you. <laughs> and, oh, aha! Ooh. Freeze! Not yet, sir. The candy has to set on the apples. Oh, this waiting's just miserable. So, how's it going, Elvis? Oh, uh, I think we might need some new candy. Ah, and a new pan. Hmm. Amazing! What's amazing? Oh. Thanks! I made it! So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! yeah. Anything but uh, make a mummy. But, so this game is called Pin the Tail on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? <gasps> is so nice and peaceful. The cafe's on fire! Stop! We have to call Fireman Sam! On fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire! Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury! <laughs> Ellie, Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger that, Sam. Power's off, Sam! I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it to his solo. Everyone, move back. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 yards back for maximum safety. I'm so sorry, my guitar machine caused a fire, Sam. Luckily, no one was hurt, Mike. Now, have you two got something you want to uh, say to each other? Let's, Let's get, get the, the band, band back, back together. together. <gasps> Yay! Juggling was great, but I missed your double double boof boof. And I missed your plang, plang, plangity plang. Wait a minute. I never played plang, plang, plangity plang. And I never played double double boof boof. Uh, I always played plang, plang, plangity ching. Well, I never heard a ching. And as for your blam, blam, blimity, blam, I played blam, blam in Ponty Pandy Park. There's a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. We'll fight the fire from the bottom of the hill. Elvis and Ellie, evacuate everyone from the stand. Glad everyone's safe. Whenever there's a fire on a slope, it's always important to stay below the flames because fire and smoke travel uphill very quickly. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam, and I'm sorry, Bella. I just wanted to watch some soccer, but I should have been concentrating on the pizzas. Oh, I understand, Norman. After all, I love my football as much as you. Really? Flaming hoses! Go, 
our horses! Mamma mia! That was bellissimo! Can I have your autograph? Oh, sorry. sorry to ruin this celebration, Norris. But have you forgotten our long-standing rule? Winner buys dinner. What? Eh? What's that you say? Bacon and maple syrup, eh, Norm? Yeah, I'll have a barbecue shrimp, thanks, mate. Uh, smoky pepperoni, please, Norman. Spinach pizza for me. Hold the cheese. Can I get a calzone? Roll twice with the crust no more than an inch and a half thick. Uh -huh. Can I get a small meat pie? Not a bad game today, Norris. Thanks, old sport. You weren't so bad yourself. My ball. <laughs> Gareth is missing on the mountains in the store. Gareth was with the children. They must be up there too. We better take Saturn. for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. And I'm ready to head into the mountains. The runaway sheep now, sir. Thank heavens for that.
my poor little vegetables. Got you. Ready, everyone? Three, two, one. Now it really does look like Ponty Pandy. Come on, come on to the greatest show on up here. Norman's Flea Circus. Ta-da! Where are the fleas, Norman? I don't know. They were here. Oh, oh, uh, it's, uh, oh. For my spectacular jumping fleas! Norman! You two search the island, I'll sweep the surrounding ocean. Drifting in the current. They're searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Yay! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. I told you. It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. You're on our way. It's my fault, Sam. I should have stopped when I felt my shoulder go. Well, we all push beyond our limits sometimes, Ben. Lucky you had Hannah with you. You okay, Hannah? I didn't finish. Off you go. Huh? Finish the challenge. Really? Well, she might need a bit of help. Go, Hannah! Paddle like the wind! did, Hannah. We knew you would, didn't we? Yep. So let's have a big cheer for Ponty Pandy's new kayak challenge champion, Hannah! <laughs> Mandy Flood is trapped in the caves. Looks like we're heading back to the mountains, Sam. Let's take Hydrus. What happened? We just heard a scream. Don't worry, I know these caves. Sam, this tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Help! Help! Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. 
We've got to find another way. Oh. Ooh. What's that noise? Two experts are What's going on down there? I can hear Fire Captain Steel working on the handcart. Hmm. Ah! She'll be growing body wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way and the old mines go into the mountain this way. And they get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. Huh. All ready to go, thanks to two experts. <laughs> it needs two drivers as well. Who's coming with me? You're the one who knows about emergency rescues, Norris. Very batty. Don't be silly, Norman Price. The bat had nothing to do with it. Caves can be very dangerous places, Mandy. You must always stay with your group and never wander off. I know, Fireman Sam. I'm sorry, everyone. And bats really are harmless, Norman. Look, here's one. Ah! I'm being turned into a bat! He's certainly ah! flapping about like a bat. At least I don't need to go underground to study bats. <laughs> I can study Norman the Bat instead. Tell me the odds. I want my mom! <laughs> I'm going to climb on now! <laughs> that stopped the engine, but you still have no brakes and you're heading straight for the cliffs! Elvis, I want you to throw a rope to the bus to slow it down. You mean? Yep. Get out your lasso and round them up, partner. Now hit the brakes, Penny! Just in time. Well, you can thank Elvis for that. 
but you should always check that vehicles are safe before you drive them. And if that brake cylinder belongs to this bus, then I'm guessing it wasn't. Oh, Trevor, I'm so sorry. Don't you worry, Mrs. Chen. That was a good bit of exercise. <laughs> I'm just glad you're all okay. I promise that next time we have a school trip, it will be less haste, less waste. Marvelous job, you two. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. And as for you, Crittlington. Yes, sir? That was some last soon, oh. partner. Ah. Oh, uh, uh, a firefighter's gotta do what a firefighter's gotta do. James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. Sorry, Ryan. It's an oil fire, so we'll need the sticky foam. Roger that, Sam. Sam. Oh, it's an Penny, shut off the electricity at the box. Hey, James? He's fine. It's a good idea not to keep oily rags lying around. They can catch fire easily. I'm really sorry, Sam. I'll be more careful in the future. And Norman Price? Next time you make a movie, have a grown-up supervise all the stunts. Yes, Fireman Sam. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry I put you in so much danger, James. Norman, we can't film anymore. All these rescues have almost filled up my memory card. Oh, really? Norman Price is Jake Pond, international firefighting super spy. Yay! <laughs> Dangerous stuff is my middle name. No, it's not Norman. It's Stanley. Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you are a professional actor after all, Sam. Oh, thanks, Penny. That stunt double is fabulous. Who is he? <laughs> the name's Sam. Fireman Sam. Uh, oh, watch out, Norman. Now I've lost my paddle. Oh, I think I can... Reach it! Oh, uh, oh, 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 no! Now I've lost mine! We're floating away. Only one thing to do. Help! 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 What's that? <gasps> That's Norman and Derek! Oh, dear! Sam, help! We can't get back! Grab hold of the end! Fireman Sam, thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh no, we have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Uh, you see, the thing is, we use them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we don't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. Mm, no broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, 
I hope you really warmed up before you started. Well, uh... And built up slowly. Oh, uh... oh! <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on. Where do you think you all are going? There is no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, yes, us. <laughs> I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Uh, where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. Okay, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. It is. I knew that. Huh? Hey! I'm so sorry, Sam. That'll teach me to wear a cardboard box on my head. You mean an astronaut's helmet, Gareth. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. This way, everyone. The clouds are lifting. I'm sorry I tried to play a prank on you, James. I wasn't really fooled. I know aliens aren't real. Oh, yes, they are. One visited my house last night. Really? Yes. He was a little green man with seven eyes, 12 tentacles, and a purple mustache, and... Oh. Wow. The Northern Lights. The Aurora Borealis. Aren't they amazing? I'll tell you what's really amazing. Norman isn't saying anything. One small step for Norman. One giant leap for mankind. Mandy Flood and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sink? Oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot! Huh? No, no, stop that. Get off! <laughs> Hang on, Mandy. Hang on, Norman. I'm slipping. <laughs> Thank you, Fireman Sam. Thank you, 
all this? Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, Fireman Sam, but it was that nasty seagull's fault. Norman, it was our fault? We should have waited like my dad told us. <sighs> Mandy's right. We should have waited. Sorry, Mike. Well, as long as you've learned your lesson, remember, safety always comes first. I'm just pleased you're both okay. And we even saved the bouncy castle. Oh. oh. Now I'll have to fix it and blow it up all over again. Thank you, Norman. Ah, uh, when it's ready, Mike, can I have the first bounce? Ah, oh, Fire Captain Steele. How's Elvis getting on with my passion fruit and pecan pastry? You said you'd ask Elvis to make it for me. Ooh, that, I, uh, <laughs> well, I forgot. Uh, sorry, Dillis. Oh, no, but the fishy fun day starts in half an hour. Um, Quidlington? I need you in the kitchen, immediately. Sorry, Fire Captain Steel. I'm playing at the Fishy Fun Day. Don't want to let my fans down. But I need you to make a dessert. Someone say they needed a dessert? Uh, huh, no, uh, oh, I'm seeing double. He's not me, sir. He's my cousin. I'm Jerry Lee, Jerry Lee Cridlington. Another Cridlington? Oh. Oh, you should ask Jerry Lee. He's an even better cook than me. Oh! Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger that, Sam. See him, boy. Oh, oh dear. Gotcha. You have to be much more careful, Trevor. You could have been badly injured. You're right, Sam. I think my tree climbing days are over. It's my fault you were in the tree in the first place, Trevor. I'm so sorry. We just needed to find the fox. The fox? So sorry, Mom. I forgot that you told me that the fox was a wild animal, because I thought it looked like a dog, and I opened the cage to feed it, and it escaped. You mean that fox? <gasps> yes, that one. Me and Norman tried to find it, but we couldn't find it anywhere, and it's back. He found his own way home. Looks like he knew when his feeding time was. Well, it looks like everybody's happy. Does that mean that nothing was actually my fault? Wait a minute. You said that some foxes were just like dogs. Uh, well, maybe that one wasn't. Or, uh, maybe I was thinking about some other animal. Wolves, uh, uh, pandas, fish, unicorns! <laughs> Come on. Bring the ball back. Where is Lady Pufflepaws, Norman? Yes, I thought Lady Pufflepaws was supposed to bring the ball back. She will. Just watch. Uh, um, you know what? I probably threw the ball too far. I've got such a strong arm. She's probably having to run for miles for that ball. I'd better go and help her. Ah, uh, where is she? No? Lady Pufflepaws? Ah! Don't panic! I'll get you! Don't worry, Lady Pufflepaws! I have my Pondy Pandy Pioneer swimming badge! That's Lady Pufflepaws! Come back, Lady Pufflepaws! Come back! We'd better call Fireman Sam. Lady Pufflepaws.
Hufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. <laughs> Stay calm. We'll find him. I'm launching Saturn now. There he is. Norman, grab on to this. Come in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. Get ready, Penny. <laughs> a fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. <gasps> My Bessie's in that shed. All fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, Ellie, I might not have gotten into the smoke room today, but I did get to fight a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> you did, Elvis. <laughs> oh, dear. It looks like Norman might be about to get a good telling off. From Fireman Sam? No, far worse. Norman Price! I can't believe you nearly set Fire Captain Steele's Nelly! Uh, I think you'll find that's Bessie. Fire Captain Steele's Bessie? On fire! I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't do it on purpose. I know it was an accident, Norman, but you were playing with matches. And that is one thing you should never do. I know, Fireman Sam. I'll never ever do it again. <gasps> Wait a minute! That's my best hat! <gasps> Told you! Norman, you said it was what brave knights used to wear. You are in even more trouble now, Nora Price! Come here! There you are, Fire Captain Steel. Bessie is safe and sound. Well, you look a bit sooty, old girl. But we'll soon have you clean, pristine, and gleaming. Ooh, there's a bit of dirt there, sir. Hmm, and a bit of dirt there. Oh, and that bit's very grubby. Oh, you missed a bit, sir. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Penny, you and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger that, that Sam. Sam.
shut off the electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. I did it! I got out of my animal rescue uniform! I'm ready to fight the fire! I'm sorry, Elvis, it's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait! It's not too late! What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high! Oh no! That might be on fire too! Ah! I'm on my way! Sorry, I got everyone to cram too many pizzas in the ovens. I think I got a bit bossy. A bit? <laughs> I know you were trying to help your granddad, James, but you should have waited for your mom or dad to do it for you. I'm sorry, Sam. We should have kept more of an eye on them. And now granddad doesn't have any pizzas for his railway gala. Hmm. I think I might know where I can get hold of some food. be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Visibility will be limited. So half speed, and let's try the east of Ponty Pandy Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current is quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Northwest. The tide turns in three hours. Plus, there's a spring current running. Mm, there. That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam? Come in, Sam. Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Ponty Pandy Island and a lot further out from shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I've fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Ponty Pandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. <laughs> So, Sarah, I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. Uh, an engine? It's, it's a boat. Hey! Hey! Yes! Beauties! Oh, you found me! There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. The 
forest trails are too small for Jupiter. We'll need to take Venus. Dampened it down, Penny, so we could do with some backup. Hang on, Sam. I'm on my way. That'll do fine. I'm sorry, Sam. We got a bit carried away making the giant bear and... Just remember to keep your wicker animals a safe distance from your campfire and your campfire a safe distance from your tents. You two should have known better. Yes, yes Sam. Sam. Congratulations, everyone. You all get your bushcraft badges. <laughs> Hooray! And James gets a special fire marshal badge for spotting the blaze. Yay! <laughs> Well, at least we managed to break the record for the world's tallest wicker bear. Although it is lying down. And on fire. We could always make another one. After all, we, we are, are the, the wild men of Plenty Penny. I was afraid they were going to say that. Me too, Trevor. <laughs> Me too. Ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink. Oh, with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. Ow! Everyone, get back. Stand back. I think we're okay. The ice is melting. Uh, uh, the water will put out the fire. It's an electrical fire, Mike. Water just makes it more dangerous. What are we going to do, Sam? Ellie, you turn off the power. Arnold, you blast the fire with foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. I'll get Norman. <laughs> Power's off, Sam. Stay calm, Norman. I'm on my way. Ah! Ah! ah. Now look what you've done. Iron Man Sam can't reach me. Ah. Norman, use your penguin to skate to me. I didn't mean what I said, Pangy. You really are a super penguin. Now get me out of here! Come on, Norman. Norman. You can do ah. it. Yeah. Ah. Ha. Now, Norman, this penguin is to help you to learn to skate. You're not meant to play ice hockey with it. Sorry, Sam. And certainly not when there's electrical equipment around. Yes, you knocked over my lights. Only because they weren't secure, Mike. You should have checked those stands properly. What? Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. It's my own fault. And now my whole ice rink's melted. It'll take me ages to fill it again with my garden hose. Don't you worry about that. Arnold? You'll soon have your ice rink back. On a cold night like this, it'll be frozen by morning. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to 